What's up, it's your boy Saggy, back with another video, and today I'm super excited for this one because it's actually about Emperor Tamarin. And originally, like when I first saw Tamarin, I thought it was gonna be trash, like absolute F tier, like there's no way this would be viable. Um, but I am proven wrong, and good thing too, because this unit looks super cool. So what Emperor Tamarin does is, when you sell it, it will give 50% of its stats to the leftmost minion in the shop. And like, like it sounds underwhelming, it goes up to 100% and 150% at levels 2 and 3. So a bit better, like if you get a, uh, for example, a 10-10 Tamarin at level 3, which is very unlikely, but let's just say you get a 10-10 at level 3. You sell it, it gives 15-15 to the leftmost unit. So... With that in mind, if you get it a, a decent bit of the way, say like a 27-27, I believe it is, or a 28-28, um, and you get it to level 3, when you sell it, it will actually give the leftmost minion in the shop basically 50-50 in stats. So, like, that's freaking crazy, man. I didn't, and I didn't understand how good it was until it's really put into action. Because even if you have a level 2... Like, you just get an Emperor Tamarin on your team, uh, you have it for a little while, buff it up, and it's it's absolutely perfect to sell because you, you replace the stats onto something that you would actually want to keep. So it's almost like a better frog. So you don't have to have frog on board. You just get the Tamarin, and then you buff it up uh, consistently, and then you're able to sell it for a tier 6, which is absolutely amazing. And um, so it's way better than frog in my eyes. And honestly, a really cool unit. I'm, I'm very excited. Um, and we even do a little bit of Drom Beetle here. So Drom Beetle Goldfish was kind of the thing I was originally going for. And uh, try to use a little bit of that to buff the Tamarin in the shop. Um, and it works out a little bit. You know, I at least get a, a little bit of discount on some stuff. And definitely some stats. But... The Drum Beetle is just so much weaker now. I'm really surprised that we were able to make it work so well. I think uh, people that we were just going against were really weak at the time. Um, so it, it really depends, but the Tamarin is is absolutely nutty. To, being able to get an instant 50-50 always feels very gratifying too. So I was super excited. I was like, oh shit, man. I can't believe this is happening. So I don't know if it'd be possible to get it like for any type of record because it's a tier three so the earliest you can get it oh well, the earliest you can get it is actually turn b so if you triple into it turn three you could get it and then getting something else um or starting to get a triple on turn five potentially maybe maybe there's something there you could at least get you know 100% so a level 2 if you do get like a 30-30 Tamarin or something then you know you sell it for something that scales itself it might actually work maybe a level like a level 3 fish or some bullshit into Tamarin and then have the bison in the shop and then sell the Tamarin onto it I don't know that sounds a bit convoluted but I definitely think I have to try it now so here we pick up the Tamarin now. It only costs two gold, so it's a bit better. And it's already uh, 7-11. And it's totally fine to put all of our stats into it, which is what makes this feel so good. Because you, you're going to get 100% of those stats back in value. And in this case, it's actually going to be 150% stats in value. So I definitely urge people to take a look again at the Tamarin. He's such a cute little monkey too. Um... But then he evolves into into the biggest of boys. But yeah, so we're finally going to start to get a little bit of levels here. Clownfish also helps out a ton. Um, honestly, the, the amount of stats you get from Clownfish is pretty good. And the fact that it buffs itself when it levels up is very nice. So you get the 4-4 four, four from it getting to level 2, which is pretty nutty uh, for a, a tier 3 unit. It honestly feels pretty good to have on the team, so it's very nice. And I'm honestly surprised that we're holding out so many rounds with Drum Beetle, but we're we're getting a lot of stats into him, so it's a bit understandable. 
thankfully we can get Tamarin to level two and we see our big boy there. So we're gonna evolve the little monkey into the strong ape. We see a little, another little monkey there, but um, you know we don't really need our monkey to be 50-50. We would really like Gorilla because Gorilla is absolutely insane at 50-50. But we are gonna pick up um, a little monkey to help our other little monkey. You know, this is monkey gaming right here. They're strong together, I've heard. So, it uh, it's all coming together. It's clicking now. This was such a close game, too. I barely won it. Uh, if he would have swapped his penguin and monkey, we would have tied. So that was a bit spooky. So here, we're really hoping to get the level 3 Tamarin so I can uh, sell it because it'll actually be big enough since the... A uh, gorilla has 8 attack, and I get the buff from Clownfish. Boom! Instant 50-50 gorilla on turn 11. That's that's nutty, if I've ever seen it. And now we get a cat cow, and I believe we even get this octopus here, because octopus, its new ability is pretty, pretty damn good. So now we're looking good. Like, at, at first I was worried, um, and even this team is pretty strong, but thank, thank God I put the melon on the on the gorilla melon on gorilla at this point is really really good because you're normally going to have a unit that does over 20 damage and so it breaks the the melon but then you immediately replace it with the coconut so very very nice getting a level two cat is also beautiful because i also want to get octopus in there and start buffing it up with the milk and then have just gorilla carry us through the through the rest of the game while we get our octo bigger and bigger so yeah, 3-6 milk already. You'd love to see it. Honestly, I love cats so much. Uh, I didn't I didn't understand um, the true value of cat until recently. So we even went front gorilla there, which is probably a mistake. I think it is much better just to have um, octopus go first, because it's it's gonna break, you know, melons or peppers or maybe kill something in the back. It would have just been all around better to have Octo first in some of these rounds. It's a little bit of a misplay, but you know, what can you do? Getting another cow is also very nice, so we're very close to getting better milk, which would be absolutely beautiful for us. But you love, you love to see it, so Tamarin is definitely something you need to look out for. Um, I definitely underestimated it, for sure. But yeah, now we can finally get some better milk here. Look at this chicken, like, oh, a 9-9 is so good with the level 2 cat. And then another 6-12. We get 6-12 on uh, both of those milks. So that's that's absolutely huge. I would definitely take a level 2 Octo next turn if, if that happens. And I definitely should replace Octo and Gorilla, yeah. So Octo is so much bigger now, it's definitely fine to have in front, and hopefully we can break some melons or peppers with it. And sadly, it's only a level 1, or we would have absolutely annihilated this guy. The 6 damage instead of 3 would have would have absolutely wrecked him. But uh, our gorilla is still just way too big, so there's nothing he could do. But yes, yes, I highly urge you to check out Tamarin. Um, I don't think it'll get changed, I don't think it'll get nerfed or buffed, it seems fairly balanced. Um, if anything, I could see a nerf. I didn't think it'd be this strong, realistically. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And you know what? I want you to have a fantastic day. I mean, look at, look at Gorilla tear through this team, man. You'll love to see it.